<laughs> All right. If you made it this far, you deserve an extra bonus. And that is exactly what I'm going to give to you. Riding through my city with that daddy bag. Thank you, Bentley. What up? It's your boy, Bentley Coop, DoorDash Divers, T3D, the one-stop shop for tips, tricks, and strategies to help you dominate with DoorDash. I travel. I travel and I dash. I get questions all the time when people are asking me, how am I so confident to dash while I travel? So in this video, I'm going to give you the traveler's handbook. In this video, I'm going to give you the information that you need to be able to find orders while you are out of town, the resources that you need to help you adjust, and even some frequently asked questions. So as usual, let's go. You're in a new area, but before you can work, you need to get your area switched over. I've done a video or two on this, but getting your area switched over is easier now than it's ever been before. And for a lot of people, it'll only take a couple of seconds once you actually get inside of the app. So once you get to your new area, if you are able to dash now, meaning that you can work right now in a new area, if you hit dash now, it will automatically switch you over. If the area is grayed out, meaning that you cannot work, you simply need to toggle over to the schedule screen and then from there, it will prompt you to update your area. Any status that you have in your home area, such as Top Dasher or Early Access Scheduling, will follow you as you travel. Early Access Scheduling is a little delayed and will take about an hour to show up. So if you get inside the app and you don't see it immediately, please do not panic. But know that any schedules that you schedule in your home area before you leave will remain while you travel. So for me, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. If I want to work in Atlanta this weekend, but I schedule my dashes for next week. Once I get back from Atlanta, I will not have to worry about any of my scheduled dashes for next week. They will still be there and this will help me to be able to transition back from Atlanta to Charlotte. Boom. All right, so you're in your new city, but you're trying to figure out where are the hot spots and not just the hot spots that they list inside of the app, but where are the real hot spots? Searching your new area for things that trigger orders is probably going to put you in the best position to actually get orders. Apartments and universities are the great place to start because they have a lot of people in a central location. And in most cases, these are the people, the demographic that use our app the most. These are people who are generally on the go. And because of that, they have less time to plan and execute cooking. So what do they do? They order out. They use us. If you close your eyes right now and you think about the closest university or even the closest cluster of apartments, how close is a Chipotle to that university? What about a Chick-fil-A? What about a McDonald's? What about a Wendy's? The list goes on and on, but I think you get the point. Even out of town, we want to make sure that we are not only getting good orders, but we're getting good orders from quick restaurants. When you hang around restaurants that you know, it eliminates that speed portion and allows you to focus on other things like your route and where you are going. More important than the apartments and the universities are the restaurants that I just called out. Chipotle has what I like to call a village mentality when it comes to location. It wants to be around other restaurants and even big box stores that generate foot traffic. That's great for them, but even better for us because that generates orders. So restaurants with that village mentality are always a great place to start to try to generate orders when you're not sure. Pro tip, pen and piece of paper. You're gonna need this. When you are in the new area, and you are searching, these are some of the restaurants that you should be searching for that will get you more orders. Zoe's, Viva Chicken, Five Guys, Smash Burger, Chipotle, Jersey Mike's. All of these restaurants have that village mentality that I was talking to you about and should put you, if not directly in a strip mall, super close to another strip mall where there's gonna be like a Wendy's, some type of Chinese restaurant. Where is the mall? This is where you're gonna find those high-end restaurants, Ruth Chris, McCormick and Schmidt, Outback Steakhouse, PF Chang's. Where are the hotels? This is where you're gonna find those mid-tier to high-tier restaurants, Applebee's, Chili's, some $40 local steakhouse. Where's the Walmart? Where's the Target? This is where you're gonna find those village mentality restaurants that I was talking to you about earlier, Little Caesars, Wingstop, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, these are gonna be the places 
this is going to be your number one strategy to not only file orders when you're traveling, but just in general. Boom. All right. So about 80% of the people who are watching this video feel like that they have got the most value that they will get out of this video from the last 30 to 45 seconds. If that is the case, I'm just going to ask you to hold on for maybe another minute. I'm going to give you three apps that are almost, if not more important than where you can find the orders. So let's go. Number one is Gas Buddy. This is my go-to app for gas, period, whether I'm traveling or not. When I was in LA, the difference between gas prices was almost 30 to 45 cents, and it was within three to four miles. The price was based more off of neighborhood and not necessarily off of what they should be charging. So you could be in a situation where you were paying outlandish gas prices when you could literally be saving 10 to $15 per fill up by driving an extra five to 10 minutes. So Gas Buddy is a must have. Beans is another go-to app that you have to have. Beans will allow you to find apartments easier in most cases, okay? Different cities list apartments differently. Sometimes the entire apartment complex has one address and then different units have A, B, C, D, E. Other situations where each and every unit could have a different address. 2021, 20, 2023, 20, 20, So Beans will take the guesswork out of where the apartments are. This will allow you to save stress, time, and stay on pace. The DoorDash app, not the Dasher side, but the consumer DoorDash app. Enter in the hotel that you're staying at, the Walmart that you're closest to, or just any address in general. When you do that for the area that you are in, the new area, it's gonna pull up all of the national chains that DoorDash is running a promotion with. This is gonna be a key way to get some extra orders. In addition to that, you can look at the restaurants that have the lowest delivery time. That again, is gonna be a great way to secure some orders. This is also gonna tell you the local restaurants that everybody is ordering from. There's always going to be one or two restaurants, maybe even a high end local restaurant that is banging out orders. Being able to see that from the consumer side could be a dead giveaway of where you need to go. There again, save you time, stress, and help you to make money. <laughs> All right. If you made it this far, you deserve an extra bonus. And that is exactly what I'm going to give to you. If you go to a new city and you use apartments.com, if you look up luxury apartments or just apartments in general, Find the apartments that are charging the highest rent possible and run towards those apartments. In addition to that, you could actually do a zip code search for the highest median income in the new city. Once you find out where that zip code is, find out what zone it's in, in the Dasher app and run. See, aren't you glad you stuck around? Once you find those areas, start back from the beginning of this video and work your way through. So find the apartments, the universities, the strip malls, the Walmart, whatever those locations may be in this high income area and enjoy. And if you want the easiest way possible, I would use some type of Reddit group or some type of Facebook group and just ask, hey, what is the hottest spot in this city? You're going to have a lot of haters that don't want to tell you because they don't want you to come in and steal their money. But it only takes one solid reply to put you on point. Bentley Coop, DoorDash Diaries T3D. I hope this helps, man. Let's go.